Evening, everybody. Psalm Pitt and Kenny. Um, we're out on the patio tonight. It's Sunday evening. Um, we're getting ready to eat. Uh, we're going to do a little thing called um, Datsin. Uh, some friends of mine up in Iowa, some Lao folks, uh, kind of introduced me to this uh, type of cooking a few years ago. Um, it's pretty good for socializing if you got a group of friends you want to come around. Basically, you just get a skillet like this butter, fat, or whatever on it. I use butter because I prefer butter. And you just take your favorite foods and throw them on there and start grilling them. Um, do we have a set of chopsticks? Yeah, we usually use chopsticks. Yeah, we have chopsticks. And we've got a couple bowls here to put some sauce and mm -hmm. stuff in and um, put our cooking stuff in. So uh, uh, real quick, Sampet, what do you have here? Uh, one day I have mocha tha. Mocha tha. Uh, the meat we have today, you see that we have pork pork with the sesame seed makes smell so nice all right uh, okay I have some look chin meatball to jam with this case that uh, this is what you're talking about uh, this is pork fat basically it's smoked pork fat we're gonna use this uh, mm -hmm. It's really good once it gets crispy to eat, but we also use it just to uh, use it for a grease on the mm -hmm. on the griddle. Yep. Um, I like to use butter, but uh, we picked this up. It was already pre-cut at the store, so mm -hmm. it works really well because it's basically a yeah. pork belly. All skin right, on. next one. The favorite, my favorite, and I, I be, believe you like it too. Pork liver. Liver. <laughs> Liver, pork liver. And the next one we have gung. Shrimp. Yep. Gung. Shrimp. Mm -hmm. Gung. And right here, nga. Beef. Nga. Mm. Cabbage. Cabbage. Paka. Paka cow. You like cabbage? Mm -hmm. And inside, have some of uh, different kind, a little bit of vegetable. Mm. Carrot. Long bean or string bean, pretty good. I have onion. Hom, hom, hua yai. Makhur teh noi, aloy ma. It's very yummy with the small. All right, that's pretty much we have. You ready? Turn on the... All right, we're gonna get her heated up here. We'll show you what we got. Ah. Your weapon. My weapons. Weapon. Heat ready, right? No, I just turned it on. Oh, okay. I could get butter. Oh, that's why. Oh, I was looking at the wrong side of the dial. Eh, no wonder. Mmm, eh. that pork smells good already, man. I actually seen uh, pork fatbacks in uh, our store today. And for those of you who don't know what a fatback is, it's basically just the fat cover off the back of a pig. So it's just pure slab of fat. They're usually yay by yay. But uh, those would work really good for this too if you can't get these here smoked. Uh, belly pieces here. Tomorrow is Mother's Day in Thailand, so yeah. they have a um, ceremony at the temple for Mother's Day on Sunday, because in the United States, everybody works on Monday, not on Sunday, so we went down there today and uh, spent some time at the temple ceremony and ate lunch with the monks. Um, I'll post a link to that video right here. Where's the beef right here? Yeah. So this is just, uh, when I went through the store, they had a package of stew meat, so it's cubed up beef. Um, Some pit don't eat beef. No. Not a religious thing, just a preference. 
Um, so I rarely eat beef at the house. But uh, yeah, I just grabbed some uh, stew meat. Um, were there any mushrooms left or are they all gone? Uh, it, it many days. You want some? Want no, to try? no, no, not if they're old. Know how to but pick. usually mushrooms are really good on here. Just any kind of your favorite cooked vegetables go well with this kind of cooking. We put together a lot so we can have the beautiful in here. Beautiful picture. Mmm, it's a boy. Okay, next, Thai word, you need to know when we eat. Look, okay, some kind of skin on it there. Mm -hmm. Tap. Okay. Tap. Liver. Tap? Yeah. Easy, right? Sure. Mmm, bean. I never tried bean. On the grill. These are some of them long beans you see in one of the other videos that we put. I'll put that link right up here. But they're, these beans get two, two and a half, three foot long, man. They're amazing. And they're pretty good. Just eat them, wash them, and eat them right off the vine. Just kind of getting excited about this cabbage here. Coke Zero tonight, I gotta work later. Yeah, Sunday night. I don't know, sucks. Kua tap kamado! Ooh, hiu leo! Hiu leo! That means already hungry. It's not fast food, right? No, this is slow food. <laughs> this is good, right? Fast food makes. I don't. I heard bad thing about fast food a lot. It's usually not healthy. Yeah. But yeah, this is why this is a good social meal because it takes a while. You sit down and talk and pick three different foods right, and you normally right. you have a bunch of people. I bought the smallest griddle they had on um, Amazon. Mm -hmm. But if you're gonna have groups of people, suggest a big one, maybe even, or two small ones or something. Mm -hmm. But uh. Everybody kind of cordons off a corner and cooks whatever they want and eat whatever they want. Of course, we don't worry about it. We just eat it. Look, first look, Reaction machine. Look. Yeah. Look. Oh, you know, no. I never heard of you. Never. No airlines. Ah. Right? Yeah. Nope means bird in Thai. They have an airline over there called Nope Airlines. They paint the fronts of the airplanes. They look like a bird head with a beak. Kind of cool. Sweet onions. Ooh. Yeah. มันมีพระเทศมาเราก็ฟังมะเขือเทศต่อน่าจะเข้าใจถึงฟังมะเขือเทศคงไม่เข้าใจธรรมะไม่ถึงธรรมแต่ถึงท้องเดี๋ยว
like, no, 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 that's key there, because it, but that, uh, she doesn't think it's a bad company, or they wouldn't have this high percentage and stuff. And that's what I thought. Well, I wouldn't think a Speedia would even have anything to do with them if they were bad. For nothing, man. No, I'll still worry. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll worry until on the way down. I'll yeah, worry until I got my suitcase in hand at the airport, and then I'll and then I'll be fine until the you know, time to go back. That everything's there. That's me. Yep. Pretty yeah, much. So. All right. Well, we'll see you back to what you're doing, but that's what they told me. So. We're, we're eating dot sin now. Are you? Yeah, we're actually making a video now, so you're on the video. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> you need to get my permission, right? Otherwise, you know, I don't need your. I don't need your permission in the state of South Carolina. Oh, okay, that's good. All right. All right. Later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bye. That was my brother-in-law Steve. We booked a trip to Mexico, in for the first week in November. He's seen some bad reviews on the shuttle company that's supposed to pick us up at the airport and take us back. Um. Some of the, quite a few of the reviews say that they'll get you to your hotel, but they won't come and pick you up and take you back. Um, so he was worried, wanted to change it, so we talked a little earlier. Um, but he called Expedia and they reassured him that, you know, nothing to worry about. If there is a problem, they'll take care of it, which I've never had an issue with shuttles through Expedia. But there's a first time for everything. But we're looking forward to that. Um, Steve's sister, and brother-in-law will be going with us. Um, this is their first trip out of the country. So I always say, if you want people to continue traveling, the first place you gotta take them is Cancun, Mexico, because they got it all, baby, and it's nice. It's beautiful blue water, snow white sand. Um, just the ambiance, the atmosphere is just amazing. Um, so whenever I travel, or bring somebody with for the first time, almost always, I think, in fact, I think I have always gone to Cancun for a trip out with somebody new. Did see plane tickets to the Philippines last week. The cheapest I've ever bought them, I think, is like $1,250 round trip to Manila. Um, and it's usually between there and $2,000 for a round trip ticket for one person. I saw him last week when we was messing around, um, booking this Mexico trip. Mm -hmm. Round trip to Manila through South Korea, $890. I've never seen him that cheap, excuse me, ever. I told you before, some people book got cheap. It depends on what time. Looks like 250 degrees is a pretty good temperature to run this at. It's cooking everything well, it's staying nice and hot. Mm -hmm. But it's not so hot, it's just burning everything right to the plate because um, if you get it too hot, that's exactly what will happen. It turned out, no problem. But I kind of paid attention last time we did this. Kind of decided 250 is a sweet spot. 250. In Thailand, in Vietnam and some of those other countries over there, they have restaurants where you go in and they have a big like, it's almost like a con concrete bucket full of real, really hot charcoals. It's got a metal pan on top of it that's domed in the center. You'll take a big old chunk of pork fat, set it on the dome on top. The charcoals underneath heat it up and it's melting down off the sides of the dome. And around the side of the dome is like a moat basically around the castle. They'll put soup in there, but you just do this. You go to a buffet, you grab a bunch of food like this and you just cook it on that dome piece and they call it barbecue, don't they? Mm. Yeah. Um, it's pretty common over there. The last girl to pull something off this grill tonight is gonna have a handsome husband. Huh? What? They said the last girl. Last grill? Girl, lady. Yeah. 
to take food off this griddle tonight will have a handsome husband. Oh. Yeah, you know it. I don't think I can. But we didn't burn much on there, so I think 220s or 250 is pretty good. I don't see anything burnt hard on there. So everybody, <clears throat> that's dot sin. As I said before, a uh, great way to socially dine with your friends and family. Um, again, take whatever you want <clears throat> that you might want to fry, put it together in a portion pieces like that. She marinates a lot of the meat and stuff ahead of time. That uh, really helps out also. But uh, yeah, it's good eats, man. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yummy. My tummy comfortable, not too tight. Okay, so with that, we're gonna sign off for the night, and we're gonna get this mess cleaned up, and I'm gonna take a shower. Are you sure you don't? Take a nap before I go to work. I gotta be out of here in about three and a half hours, so enough time to take a shower and quick nap. That's about it. You nap early. Salt so Pit and Kenny, thanks for watching. This morning I was